And moving on. Time to head to the highway. Central Storm. The Deadlands. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. I was like, I'm very skeptical about this. Where the fuck are we going? Alright, I think we're in our first hub area. Oh my god, Moogle. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of health. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, so are you. And this is the dominant. Out cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Alright then. I'm guessing this is the first hub area of the game, so. I expect side quests to show up here. Alright. You can explore now. No exposure, I'll be needing a new sword. First breaker. For the stores. For you. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. Ooh. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Huh. Wasn't born a slave, though, so. Leave me. These apples are all foul. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land, it only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Hmm, so we all have brands. Got it. Not all of us, but a lot of us here. I'm guessing we'll be able to shop soon. Washroom floor's all mended then. It's all in here. Nothing, probably. Oh, we got a smithy. <sighs> Damn, you don't want to talk to us. Well, still hungry, are I you? guess we might as well just go talk to Say. You think a soldier, then? I'd right. be surprised if he wasn't. No, this way. Right? No? Okay, I guess I went the wrong way. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, the The big staircase in front of me. Hey. All right. Working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. Eh? 
All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready, then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. All right. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. So Nan is magic. Blackthorn is melee attacks. To the forge it is then. And possibly armor too. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. I don't know what you just gave me, but okay. Oh. 
Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? There's no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sita Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to her holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. All right, craft new gear. Got it. Oh, do we have to hold? Okay, we have to hold. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. Got it. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. <laughs> ah, okay. So when something has changed in the hideaway, notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates of Karen's toll. And new forging recipes for Black Hammer. There are also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. While well, appearing game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. Okay. I suppose I should thank Goots. Well. Let's see, what else can I make? I can make a broadsword if I had more Y, right? I can make iron bracers, though. I'm probably doing that. Okay. It lasts you a good while. And reinforce the iron bracers. My best work, will do. Um, that's it. Okay. And. Fuzzy mug of Kenneth Coldus. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I. Uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Who? <laughs> Wait a minute. No, never mind. More people? I wonder what happened to all of them. You, blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> all right, we make them comfortable while a bed's made up. Well? You're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? I think this is supposed to be an introduction what the to hell side have quest, I got maybe. Myself into? <sighs> Imagine. He looks familiar. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Already on, yeah. Already on. Got it. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions once That's she's not recovered. why I'm here, lady. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so.
He's going to be all right. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Too many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh. And thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. Side quests unlocked. Okay, so now we can go get side quests. Green icon, got it. So objectives in the main scenario and up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Got it. Thousand Tomes and Ever Growing Compendium of All Things Philistia. Personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Fetch a glow. Okay. Who are these people? New quests available nearby. Ah. Do you think we should go and help? Pick this up. Don't Sounds think. Like <laughs> ah, a new face, and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly <coughs> do I have the honor of addressing? Oh. Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. All right, quest accepted, food for thought. Reward is 500 gil for completing it. Oh, meal. How long has it been? That chasing rumors sits up there in that hole of his broodings. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. We also have another side quest in a different room, so there's that. Well, well, there's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish mm -hmm. this. I won't be a burden. 
I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, Ben. See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one, eh? I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Alright, quest complete. Oh, yes, we get more white right. I can probably forge a new sword. Maybe. Badge of metal. Okay. So, before we go speak with Charon, there's another side quest over here. Their masters in oh, oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. Hey, you! <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. White Ads. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. No money made for this quest. Probably just all XP. Which I'm fine with. All right. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Better get this to Jeffrey, was it? All righty then. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. <coughs> it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... 
That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Meteorite and Gil bug. We traded for Gil, so it's just a junk item. Got it. All right, now before we speak to Caron, I want to go back to the blacksmith, the smithy, because I should be able to craft. I see I'm busy here. For saying for you, dear. Apparently not. Currently, I can't. Well, that sucks. Um, maybe not. And Most of if I can get more of fly right from. Um, probably not. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well. Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. That's fine, I got plenty of coin. <laughs> Alright. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around the list. The uh, shop. Ugh, shop stock changes the store progresses. Be sure to check in frequently. I can buy a short sword. Um, I mean broadsword. Might as well. You'll not find a better price than that. And we'll buy one potion. It'd better all be here. We will sell this shit. This shit tier blade. I'll be thankful you got that. Much. This shit tier belt. I reckon I shit can tier, find a tier bracers. I'll be thankful you got that much. Not gonna sell that. I am gonna sell the gill bug. Cause that's all that that is. Used I reckon for. I can find a buyer. All right. That's all. Why you've barely a gill to your name? You're full of shit. I got thousands of gill. I mean, what? You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. All right. All right. I can make an exception. <clears throat> What's that? But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. Sacks. Huh? Ah. The Stone is not accessible. This customizable virtual battlescape provides supply to safe locations to test out new abilities and training against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses through the story. Hall of Virtue. Nah. Well. Oh, is it gonna make me? It's gonna make me, isn't it? Okay. How do I leave? 
Uh, is it under training options? And training. Duh. Duh, brain. It was under, <laughs> it was under the options. Now I can exit the stone. Okay, so it does force you to go into the hall. At least once. You all done. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Alright, fast travel. We can now access the world map. I think. Wait, no. Is it like this? Yep. Yes, I know about the journal. Okay. Oh, but wait, before... Before we make for Greatwood. Before we do that. Is there anything else on the local map? No. Okay. Time to go to Greatwood. And, uh, yeah. Greatwood. The Great Wood. The Holy Empire of Sunbreak. Sunbreak? Sunbrook? I don't know how to say it. Bastard blood flies everywhere. You mean mosquitoes? I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Banning embers. Here's best friend. Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Sick, heal, ravage. Okay. Oh, so the doll can cast magic. Got it. <laughs> Timely assistance. I don't care about the ring. I don't I don't care about Did that. I okay. Be deadly so, beasts? They'll be dead. Before we continue, I need to go to gear. Because I can equip the badge of metal, which is not cheating. These are cheating. Anything that says timely on it's cheating in my book. It is meant to make the game easier, and I don't like Nothing that. A trained assassin can't handle them. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. Alright, can we run now? Thank you. Also, I actually... Can we change... Yeah, we'll do that. Because... Well, I like the frame rate. It looks beautiful. Actually, probably, we should probably stick to frame rate. Now that I think about it. Probably stick to frame right just because screen. Maybe that friend with Oh, Worgen. Worgs. There's Worgs in this world!
Level up. So, hmm, I can master lunge, but I think I'd rather wait and master this. Uh, running blade, I haven't even done that yet. Or that, I don't think. Hmm. I think I'll just save my points for now. That's a big beastie. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Let's try and stay out of its path. So... There's something else I just realized. I think it'd be under here. No. Okay. Let's get going. Oh. Vampire thorn? The fuck? Well, the shrubs of these parts are much better. Any only thing to mention is now. I'll take it from here. <laughs> All right. I right. Okay. After you. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. I say, why did it get so quiet? Uh, what the hell is that? Dragon Avis. A wyvern. Ow. I can see that. Doesn't have to be a friend of Ow. yours, does it? Not this time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Enemy slain. Boils. Damn. We got Dragon Talon and Sharp Fangs. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. <sighs> Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank you, Toggle. Hmm? We can pet the doggo. We can pet the doggo. Okay. Got. Magic Ash. Okay, he wants us to go that way. Oh, there's... We... We know the no way. Okay. Two <sighs> sharp fangs. Yep. Well, they look not too happy. I'm the one who's not my fault. It's over. This is stupid. I like wolves. the right way. What's up here? Wait, no, this is where we came from, right? Yeah, we walked into here and we did that. Okay. I figured we'd have to fight the big PC at some point. That's all sharp. You better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcuts. Well, it's still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a downside quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly.
Two stops, no one knows. Gnarled scales and a fucked on a wire right. Okay. Are you shitting me? How it's still off? Oh, come on. Stand back. Damn. Man, summon a thunderbolt. Let's go. You're you're dominant. I am. I. Well not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Ramu, who saw fit to home. Ramu, okay. Sid, you say you want to help Dominance and Bearers, but what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us, what we want and deserve. Save for our knack, Dominance and Bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay. And before we continue this, you know this recording. <laughs>